All right, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. Here's Bosher to kick it away. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here. They have it up to the 35-yard line. Black, black, come on. Let's go, let's go. Now a play fake here on first down. Well, he's going to take a shot right away. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Well, they wasted no time taking a shot down the field. He was letting it fly in the very first play from scrimmage. And this was excellent coverage down there. And they'll come away with an early takeaway. And I mean an early takeaway. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, Everybody first go. and 10, at their own 28-yard line. After the interception, here's Ryan. Eluding the pressure right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Second down, here's Ryan. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon Graham in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find yeah. someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Third and long, it's Ryan. Dancing to his left. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Derek Barnett in there to drop him, and back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long. The punter Bosher on now as he gets this one away. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, 
stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem. This is taken in by Jeffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Alshon Jeffrey, 35 yards. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. Elliott now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 21. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Timmy Jernigan, the Florida State man, in on the stop. Second down. Wide open receiver complete. A very solid gain of 27. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. On second down, Ryan. He'll rifle this one deep right. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to go out of bounds, taking it down inside the 25. That one goes for 36 yards. Hey, let's go. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and hey, 10 go. at the 24. Back him up five. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. From the gun, it's Ryan. The left side completion to Jones. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Call it a three-yard game, and that'll make it second and 12. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Falcons in position. Hey, let's go! Looking to throw on second down. Ryan drops it off for Coleman. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Tevin Coleman, 26 yards. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the one.
Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix it. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes it down deep into Atlanta territory. Wentz able to hook up with Aguilar for a big gain, 58 yards. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. It's first and 10 at the 14. They go play action here on first down. And it's caught at the seven yard line. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Now Wentz. Buying time to his left. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Great 15. Great 15. Wins to throw on second down. And it's incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Wentz now on third and goal. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range. But boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board. But give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. First and ten, it's Ryan. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run right after the catch. This is Freeman on first and ten. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. To throw on second down, Ryan. And he will find Ridley on the left side. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Ryan in the offense with a first and 10. And he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Throw right side caught by Ridley. And he will lose yardage back to the 34 yard line. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. Looking to throw on second down. Ryan, and he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Fletcher Cox breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. Throwing on third and long. Ryan. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Here's Matt Bosher now as he'll punt it away for the second time.
Now Sproles. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Yeah, can he put it aside? Let's find out. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They fake the give. Now Wentz going up top. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Poole. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. First down. 23 yards on the play. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats, but really, should he have to absorb that? But he had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. Ryan. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And a timeout here. Timeout taken. Whistles blown. Timeout taken by the receiving team as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Hey, Looks like it. Ryan's going to stay out there. Indeed, they're going to try for this on fourth down. Hey, Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. Well, I thought they should have punted before. Now they probably definitely need to punt, right? Yeah, we did a little mind melding there, didn't we? Because I was wondering, why are you out there if you're not going to punt it in the first place? Now, I don't think they have any choice. Here's Matt Bosher now, as he's on to punt for Atlanta. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Sproles, the return. 12 yards on the return that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They go back to the air here after the IMT on the last drive. Tech McKinley in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Seven. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> play action. Now wins. Going for the deep ball. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third Hang down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. 
He's got his man. That's Wallace. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. Play action. Wins. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter. Here we go. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7 7 our score. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. down Ryan Coleman has it here right side and he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line six yards on the pickup and it'll be second down so many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game get your best players into space with the football in their hands that's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner get him out in the flat and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll wind up losing yardage here, back at the 21-yard line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. He's got Sanu. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Let's go. Off the play, fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Fletcher Cox in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. To throw on second down. Ryan, throw right side, caught by Davis. First target, first catch, and a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Coleman. 16 yards there, two straight plays of 16 yards and another first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Now Ryan, flush to his right. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know go. when the clock has gone off in your head, go. it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Now a 
Play fake here on first down. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Nigel Bradham in there to record another sack, their sixth of the afternoon. After the sack, here's second and 11. On second down, here's Ryan. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. On third down, Ryan. This will be caught inside the 10. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job here of limiting that. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They'll try and throw for him with Ryan. And no, it's incomplete. Dan Quinn's guys unable to come through there on fourth down. And the Eagles defense able to hold. Now a play fake. Wentz has into the hands of Wallace over the middle. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. A gain of six there on first. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. A first down for the Eagles. Wentz fighting the former Raven Wallace. On play action, it's Wentz. He's going to look deep down the field. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball. But he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. He has several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown in. Frankly, that should have been another pick right there. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this is caught at the 20. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. Wentz able to hook up with Aguilar for a big gain. 67 yards. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. They come out here in the eye. They'll try to run with a J. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now Wentz will keep it. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And his defense here going to burn their second time out. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. So it's third and goal, and now the question, can this Falcon defense stand tall once more? On third and short to give it the tight end. And he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown.
Dallas Goddard taking it in. And the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Elliott now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Second and ten now. Ryan drops it off for Coleman. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. He's back to throw. The left side completion to Jones. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. Back to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. He was hoping to get that one to Tevin Coleman in space. And it's second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. He'll look to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. This pass rush, they've been excellent all game long, and another example of it right there in the closing moment. Not only with the pass rush, but how well they're coached, because if you don't quite get there, get to the quarterback, get your hands up into the passing lane and knock it away, as we just saw there. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Julio Jones, 58 yards. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This fielded at the two. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Look at the clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage. Target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. They go play action here on first down. Throw right side taken in by Wallace. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Mike Wallace, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? 
Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Just keeping the play alive. They still can't get it. And his throw here is incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes. That's exactly what you do. It's both because <laughs> they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blank in the field. Throwing his wins. Trying to improvise. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Gonna be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. No time left. They've just won the game, and now they'll go for two. Now Ryan looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks, and he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. Well, we were on hand for a fun an entertaining game here coming down really to that last play great job defensively to get the pick and seal it and we know that every play during a game matters you're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones but at the end of the game when you analyze it three four five plays are going to be the ones you focus on and that last play was one of them the last shot had to take it and they came up with the interception and sealed their victory